Welcome back for another Top Notch video. This week, guys, we'll be talking about the week of 31 May through 4 June. As always, the Top Notch channel is about the thrift savings plan, the TSP. We talk about the following, the C, S, I, and F funds. Or if you're in Roth IRA, Roth IRA or brokerage accounts, we talk about the ETFs, IVV, VXF, EFA, and AGG. We kind of do a very general overview and then do a technical analysis, then show you guys where we are at on the Top Notch channel. If that's something that interests you, please like, subscribe, or share. Let's get right into the video. And the first thing we'd like to start off with is this TSPTalk.com. Great website. Definitely recommend you check them out. Here are the funds for the week. As you can see for the week, it was not a very big week, guys. Uh, for the F fund or the bond fund, uh, what we were seeing is basically AGG was up 0.1%. Uh, the C fund, IVV fund was up 0.6%, about a half percent. The S fund or VXF was up 0.3% and the I fund was up 0.7% uh, for the week. Not a very big week, but it was still an up week, green week for funds. Okay, moving into our general overview, what do we see, what do we have? Tom does some commentary on this uh, website, definitely recommend you check him out. Does some great things for this channel. So for the S&P 500, that's going to be your C fund here. General broad technical analysis, what are we seeing here? As you can see, we have the 20 day, 50 day moving average. We're seeing some topping here. One, two, three tops on this chart. Usually two char charts is not very good. And we did see a little pullback here to the, the, the 20 day moving average, but it popped right back. Usually when we see a third top, uh, markets tend to go higher, but we'll have to look at our technical analysis charts to see just where things are going. I will also show that on the other chart. The one bad thing we do see on this chart is this open gap back here in April. Now, typically open gaps tend to be filled this one has not been filled just yet, and that is a concern. We don't know when it will come back down to this level, but it's uh, possible that it could. We don't know if uh, it's it's likely. We don't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. Moving on to the um, VXF, which is going to be the S fund, small caps. What are we seeing in this fund here? As you can see, that bear flag has really taken off, and now instead of looking like a bear flag, it's more looking like a V-shaped recovery. We are above our moving average here. Green went above uh, the 50 day, which is really positive for our moving averages. Shortest moving average on top, which is now on top. Uh, 50 day is below that, and then the 200 day is way down here. So that is very positive, healthy sign. These charts are continuing upward. We did have this kind of touch back here, um, and it just touched it, went straight back up. So that is positive. Things are looking much better on this chart. Going into the I fund, or international markets this is EFA what are we seeing with EFA now EFA was our big winner in May um, we're starting to see this chart top out a little bit as you can see it's trying to stay within its trend line here this is the long-term trend line I have not reached that just yet so it continues to move upward but we'll take a look at it more closely on the technical charts and last of all but not least bonds the F fund AGG we are seeing a bullish flag here and with that bullish flag, what did we see? Sure enough, look at this, this last week, guys. This fund rocketed up on the last day. Um, on Friday alone, it was up 0.37%, which was pretty much the gain for the entire day. Really rocketed up from, this is, again, a bull flag. Really reached out on that. Getting close to that 200-day moving average. If we break that, that would be a good sign moving forward for this fund. We tried to break it back in May and did not happen. So we're trying to see if we can break that here. That is all of our funds, guys. Let's move into the technical analysis for each of these funds. IVV, what are we seeing? This is FinViz, guys. Like I mentioned before, we had that open gap down here. You can't, you can barely see it here. Fund had a topping out here. Look at this, guys. One, two, three top outs right there. One, two, and three. Where will charts go from here? A lot of room to move up top here. I think it could go up here in the future, so please keep that in mind. We've been stagnant now for almost, uh, almost a month. So keep that in mind too. Hoping to see a breakout either, hopefully to the top, but not to the bottom. Let's look at our technical analysis charts. So here we are on our technical analysis charts. We'd like to look at long-term and short-term charts. This is price up here. Down here what we have is a derivative oscillator, which is the green and red bars. When green tends to move down into red, price tends to decrease. When red moves up into green, price tends to increase. That's our first indicator. We like to look at that one. We also like to look at the price percentage oscillator. That is the blue and red lines here, guys. When the blue is above red, price tends to rise. When blue goes below red, 
price tends to decrease. We like to look at those two indicators. We give you guys a stoplight formation of red, yellow, or green of where we see ourselves in these funds. And so let's give you guys a breakdown for this week. As always, we start with IVV. With IVV, what are we seeing, guys? Well, on the long-term charts, we have our derivative oscillator moving down. Look at this. This week alone, we saw two points, or a couple weeks back, we saw 2.2, and then we were at 1.3, and then we were at 0.8. So this is moving down. That is not a good indicator. Our price percentage oscillator is also moving down. That is not good. That is a negative sign for both of these funds. Long-term charts, red stop like to stay out of IVV for the long term. Short term for IVV, what are we seeing? We did see some positive motion on this chart. This is good. The oscillator is um, basically coming out right here. That's a positive sign. The price percentage oscillator is moving out as well. We saw it break that red line there. Two positive things, price is moving up. Look at how close these Bollinger Bands are. We're probably gonna see a big move here shortly, probably in the next week or so. Is that gonna be up or down? Short term, maybe up, long term, maybe down. We have to wait and see and see where charts are going on this fund. But overall with the long term trends and our only two moves a week for TSP users, not for Roth IRA or brokerage accounts, it is wise to just watch this chart and see where it goes from here. If we do make a move, please check our Facebook page and Twitter accounts. We do post our moves on those channels. Looking at our next fund, this is VXF, the small caps. What are we seeing with small caps? As you can see, a lot of scissor action up here, up and down, up and down, up and down. We're seeing above the moving averages here, that is positive. We saw a double top here. Now, if we could get a triple top, that would be a very positive sign. We could see it bounce. But guys, we have been moving in this zone since February. So we're hoping to see a breakout on these funds very soon. This is a positive light, good direction for VXF or small caps, S fund. Long-term charts, we're gonna look at these same technical analysis, same indicators here. What are we seeing here, guys? We are starting to see some positive things happen in this chart. All right, for VXF or uh, the small caps fund, we did see it uh, come down and uh, we thought it was coming out here. It did not. It decided to do a fake out and price decreased again. And now we're going back up, guys. This right here is a good positive sign. Our oscillator is moving out into the positive. We were at negative 2.5. Now we're at negative 2.0. That is good. Price is reacting in the positive right direction. Bollinger Bands are getting close, saying that there could be a good big move coming up here. Our price percentage oscillator is below the red line there. So that's not a positive sign just yet. But I would say this is a yellow. Proceed with caution. Start to move your funds into VXF. I think that's okay for the long-term basis. Let's look at the short-term basis. Also, not terrible things here, guys. As you can see here, um, well, I would say it's all right. It's not the greatest. As you can see, our derivative oscillator is moving down here. All right, we are in the red. That's not that positive. And our PPO line, or price percentage oscillator, blue is below red here. Price is not reacting to that very well. And I'm telling you guys, if we see anything good on Monday, probably Monday, starting on Monday or Tuesday, if we see a good Monday, Tuesday pop out of this chart, we're going to go all in, guys. All in on VXF, the S fund. We will make those moves on our Facebook and Twitter account. But be watching very closely this week because I, I see a move this week for VXF. Some good positions to get involved in here. We'll have to see where uh, things go for those two days. But I, I have a good feeling on this fund. Of course, we will always trade the chart in front of us. But keep that in mind. Let's move to the next chart. EFA, what are we seeing? Again, EFA was one of our best leaders for May. Did very, very well here. Now it's starting to stagnate a little bit now that we're at the top of these Bollinger Bands. A lot of room to fall here, so please keep that in mind. Let's look at it from a technical analysis. Short and long-term charts, EFA or International Funds, iFund for UTSP users. Look at this. We were going down in charts here. Not very positive. Very indecisive with our PPO line. Price was continuing up. We just saw a fake out, guys. That's huge. Um, so we were at 1.18, and now we're at 1.3. That is a very positive sign. 1.1 to 1.3, very positive sign for the price or the derivative oscillator. Okay, that's these green bars again. When they go up, price tends to go up. So that's a very positive sign for EFA. We'd like to see this indicator go a little bit more as well. But again, this is a, a, a yellow light or a caution for EFA. 
Um, not a red light. Uh, if you want to get involved, start putting some funds in here. I wouldn't disagree with that. Let's look at it from a short-term basis. And uh, very good things on a short-term basis as well. In fact, guys, based at looking these charts um, for myself, I would probably do a 50-50 split from VXF and EFA and do a 50, 50 in EFA and 50 in VXF or 50 in the S fund, 50 in the I fund. Um, moving into Wednesday or moving into Monday, Th this is this is a very good move here. As you can see, we are moving down negative here. We saw a price react to that a little bit, and now we're moving back in the positive. Price is moving back up here. Very good things. PPO line, price percentage oscillator. That blue line is above the red line. Very positive sign. This is a green light chart for EFA on the short term basis. Good fun to get involved in this week, guys. I feel very confident with this fund. All righty. That is EFA. Let's move into our last chart of the day, which is AGG or bonds. Bonds, AGG doing a lot of the same things it did for May. Um, not moving around a whole lot. Can't seem to get out of this these trend lines here. Very stuck. I do not like the 200-day uh, moving average being sloped downward. That is a very negative sign here. Um, we'll have to see where things go, but having these moving averages so below the 200-day moving average is a very uh, bearish signal and a market uh, in my opinion. Let's move into the technical analysis for AGG. What are we seeing on the long-term basis? Long-term basis guys, I am seeing AGG move just a tick above here. So we're moving from a 3.0 to 3.1. That is positive. Price percentage oscillator is positive. That is a green light chart for long-term basis. Price will just is just starting to react to these indicators here. That is positive for the Derivative oscillator and the price percentage oscillator. Very positive, good signs on both term basis, weekly basis, green chart, good fun to get involved. Seeing some good charts finally uh, after a couple months, good things happening on these charts. AGG on the short term basis or the F fund for UTSP folks. It is moving out of the derivative oscillator. Good sign here, very, very positive here. Very positive signs here. I'm telling you guys, Friday was an incredible day for AGG, really gained a lot on that Friday. Good entry point here for AGG. Definitely worth looking into, um, definitely worth getting involved in for AGG in the near future. So those are all of our funds, guys, um, for the Top Notch channel. Really appreciate you guys paying attention, watching every week, and please pay attention to our Facebook and Twitter accounts as we will be posting this week when we make moves. Right now for the Top Notch channel, we are in the G Fund or Cash. 100%, but we're going to change that this evening, guys. We're going to make our moves tonight. So as you can see, I mentioned some charts that were good. Um, we're going to get involved a little bit on these charts. We're going to go ahead and put 50% in the S fund or VXF, and we're going to put 50% in EFA or the I fund. That's where our funds are located right now on the Top Notch channel, or will be on Monday. Uh, actually, Tuesday, because uh, we're top. We are thrift savings plans people, so they take a day to enter there. But that's where we're seeing... Good looking charts here, guys. Really good, promising charts. Hope to see some good things for the next two weeks, two, three weeks, uh, for the rest of the month, honestly. So that's where we're that's where we sit. Again, this is another top notch video. We'll see you guys next time.